This is a Pioneer 9. It's the P331 power scooter. This is a heavy duty power scooter. This is a brand new scooter. This power scooter has a 500 pound weight capability. 500 pound. It has suspension. It has a, a large seat. The seat on this scooter, if I turn the seat, you can see it's 22 inches wide by 20 inches deep. 22 wide by 20 deep. It's a, sw it's a swivel seat. It's a captain's seat. What that means is a lever here and you can fold that seat all the way down to here or bring it all the way back to here. This is a, you don't see this recline this much on most of the scooters. This is a lot more than most scooters. So this is called the captain's seat. Also this seat will, swivel, uh, will slide back and forth. There's another handle under here and you can see how close it can come to the tiller. Okay. Now remember if you get this scooter, um, the way this scooter is built, it's built to see it's kind of forward. So if you're driving this scooter, okay, so if you're driving your scooter, this is what you're, you all, you've got only this space in here, so you, there's plenty of room to get in. For me there is, but remember you're going to be kind of close here. That's just the way they built this seat on this scooter. <clears throat> Again, this scooter has got a 500 pound weight capability. We've got 12 and a half inch knobby air tires in the back. These are air tires. We got a 10 inch air tire in the front. Um, <clears throat> it's got the full lighting package. This scooter is 27 inches wide. So the width from here to the other wheel is 27 inches. <clears throat> the length on the scooter is 53 inches. From the bumper here to the bumper in front is 53 inches. And the nice thing about this scooter, you have a solid bumper here. If you back into a wall with a back bumper, or you run into a wall, you've actually got a chrome bumper front and back. Okay? This uh, tiller, this is called a tiller right here, is adjustable back and forth. So if you're sitting in your scooter, you just pull the lever down and pull the tiller wherever you want. It's a little stiff right now because it's new, but you can put it any way you want. It comes with a full lighting package, so if I turn the scooter around, you can see the front. You can see the lights right here. These are your flashers. Let me put the flashers on. So that'll be your left flasher, you have the same thing in the back. And you have the right flasher. You also have your headlight. This is a huge, this is a full-size headlight, okay? And you have the same headlight. And you can see the back lights on the scooter, and you can see the flashers also on the scooter in the back. Okay. While we're back here, let's look at the back of the scooter. You get a pouch for your seat. You got a pouch where you put your owner's manual. But this scooter right here, you've got anti-tip wheels right here, and you can't push it. Okay. But if the, the motor's right here. You can see the motor right here. Right here's your motor. You have a red handle. If you bring the red handle up, actually push it in. Now you're in neutral, but always turn your power off. So now you can roll it forward or backward. Make sure you always put it back in gear right here. If you don't, you're going to be calling me. So that is your um, we'll bring the scooter forward. You have a basket. That can be removed. You can see your the large headlight I was telling you about. This is very well constructed. That's not a, this. This is a, a full size light. You don't see that too often. You know. Put the basket back on. You've also got here a high and a low speed. So if you wanted to turn the speed down a little bit, you have a high and a low speed here. You have your forward and your reverse on this side. When you charge the scooter, see if I can turn it, you can see it. When you charge it, you charge it right here. Open the port up right here. Shouldn't be that hard, should it? There we go. Take your charger, plug it right in here, plug it into the wall, and as soon as it's full, the charger will stop charging automatically. You've also got an emergency brake, so if you're going down a hill, you're going too fast, you need some emergency brake, you can always use the emergency brake here. But your scooter is equipped with a built-in brake, so when you let go, 
this scooter will stop. This scooter will stop driving as soon as you let go. Okay. So again, this scooter is 27 inches wide, 53 inches long. It has a 500 pound weight capability. It has a 22 by 20 captain seat that is swivelable. You can swivel it, and you can also slide it forward. This is as far back as it'll go. So I just I want you to make sure you understand. It's as far back as it'll go. And I, just to give you a little bit more example, we're going to take the seat off. So this seat weighs about 40 pounds. That's your seat. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to show you the inside real quick. This is, this is sitting on Velcro, so it comes right off. And you can see over here, I'm going to disconnect the lights. These are your back lights I just disconnected. So you can see the large batteries. You have two batteries in here. They're 75 amp batteries. Two large batteries. This scooter has about a 32 mile distance. So if you, you can go about 32 miles in travel distance with this scooter. This, the distance is based on if you're going uphill, you go into the grass, you have a heavy person, you may not get 32 miles, you might get a little less. You have a 100 pound person, you may get more than 32 miles. But So the, the mileage varies. You have two fuse, huge fuse on this scooter. You can see how well built this is. Look at the, look, the size of these fuse. So you have a battery, two batteries, and this is a 24 volt motor. If you can see the actual, you can see, whoop, right, right into my plant. You can see the actual size of the motor. This is a big, big motor right here. You can see the suspension back here, and you can see maybe the disc brake right here inside your wheel right here. So when I hit the, the brake in front, the manual brake, you can see me pressing against the disc brake.
So this is the Pioneer 4 scooter, the 500 pound weight scooter. Six miles an hour is top speed. When you turn with this scooter, it will slow down. It's automatically built into the computer, so you're not going to be able to turn at six miles an hour and get yourself in trouble. So as soon as you start turning, you lose your six mile an hour speed. But if you're going straight, you can go six miles an hour. You've got the 12 and a half solid tires, uh, stop, air tires. No problem in the grass, great suspension. I'm probably not heavy enough for this scooter. It's got a huge seat, very, very comfortable, very easy to drive, fully loaded with the lights, uh, with the bumpers, which you hardly ever see bumpers like this, and you hardly ever see a headlight like this on any scooter. This is really a, a motorcycle headlight almost. So it's a very nice scooter, very easy to drive, and it's ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800 677 6293, or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.